Bubbles, look what came in the mail today. It's data on all the posts I have on Instagram. Wait a second, they only send me data on 25 posts at a time? So I have to write them another letter in the mail and wait another week to get a second page? What's up everyone? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get a user's media using the Instagram Graph API PHP SDK. By the end of this video, we're gonna have our script and when we run it, we're gonna back a data array of our media. Here's all the media for my user. Well, at least the most recent 25 posts. We got back all the data right here in this array. Caption, comments, likes count, link to the post, the thumbnail, URL, and we got back the comments on it. And after our last post right here on the first page, we have a paging array. We'll be going over how to use the paging with the SDK a little later in the video. We're gonna begin over in our GitHub repository, Instagram Graph API PHP SDK on GitHub. Link will be down in the description. We're gonna click on the wiki tab and we're gonna find the endpoint we're going over in this video, which is the IG user slash media endpoint. Here is the snippet we need to use with the SDK in order to get the user's media. We're gonna go ahead and copy this snippet right here and we're gonna paste it in our editor. We're using the SDK's media user media class. And in order to use the media class, we need to set up a config array. Config array for the media takes in two parameters, the Instagram user's ID and the user's access token. If you don't know how to get either of these things, I made a video on each of them going over how to get a user's ID and how to get a user's access token. You can go check out those videos on YouTube in my Instagram Graph API PHP SDK playlist. Or you can hop back over to the wiki, go to the homepage, and you can click on the YouTube tutorial right here. And that will take you right to the playlist on YouTube. Over here on the, on the right, you see we have our access tokens video and we have our Git Instagram account IDs tutorial. Check those out. And when you're done, you can fill in these values. So we're gonna place our user ID right here. And then we're gonna place our access token right here. Then we're gonna pass that when we instantiate our media. And to get the user's media, all we have to do is call the get self function on our media. Now we're gonna dump out our user's media and we're gonna run this script. In our new tab, we're gonna hit our IG test.php and we should see a list of the first 25 posts on Instagram for my user. We got my data array and by default, SDK will try to return all the possible information for you with each post, all the way down to our 25th posts on the first page. Now. Let's say we wanna get the next page. So we're gonna create an if statement right here. We're gonna check for our media page next link. If this page next link exists, we know that we can get the next page of posts. So we're gonna first print out our first page right above our if statement, and then print our next page in our if statement. And we'll print out a title here as well. And since we're using our params, class right here, we have to make sure we use our params class up here. And our params class is in the request slash params. Now we should be all set to request our first page, display it out, and if we have a next page, we can display that out as well. So let's go ahead, refresh our page. Again, we have our first page right here. And if we search for our dash next, there's our next page title. Here's the second request that went off, which is requesting the second page of data. We get back 25 more posts for the second page. Now if we scroll to the bottom, we should see the next and the previous links filled out by the SDK. Now that we're on the second page, we have a previous link generated for us, which will take us right back to the first page. And if we wanna see the third page, we can do the same call on the next link right here. And the previous link is the same as the next link in the code. You would just replace this with previous and call params previous. So you can go forward or you can go backward depending on if the next or previous links exist. And that is the default functionality for the user media endpoint with the Instagram Graph API PHP SDK. Let's go over the custom functionality. And by custom, I mean, let's say you didn't wanna get all this data back for every post. Let's say all we wanted was the ID and the caption. How do we do that? Well, we create a custom request with the SDK. Over in our code, the getSelf function is the function by default that tries to return all the data possible. We can actually pass in a params array right here and specify our own parameters. We're gonna create our array right here and our parameters array is gonna take in a field string, which is a comma separated string of all the data we want back. We wanna back the ID and the caption. Now, if we refresh our page here, we should see only the ID and the caption for every post. There we go. We've requested only the ID and the caption and that's all we've gotten back for every single post. Now, in case you're wondering what other fields can go in here, if you want the whole list, you could remove the params here, run the script so it gives you all of the data back. And then at the bottom in the debug array, the SDK will return you exactly what was generated. Here you see params, fields, and this is the field string that was passed along for the request. So let's scroll over a little bit and let's say we wanna get back the children as well, which would be a carousel album. So we can add that on right here to our field string 
and let's say we just wanted the media URL for each of the children. And now for any media post that has children, we should see the children listed out with only their media URL. It does help to pass in the custom params array to get self. Refresh, and there we go. Let's find one that is a carousel. There we go. So for all the children, we got the media URL, and looks like it just defaults to returning the ID no matter what. And that is how you use the Instagram Graph API PHP SDK to get a user's media. We just finished going over the custom params. You can specify whatever you want to get back, as little or as much as you want, or you can simply not pass anything into the get self function and the SDK will try to return all the possible data for you. We also covered paging, how to get the next or previous pages of the media. And if you run into any issues, the debugger right here is very helpful because it tells you exactly what you passed along for the request. The endpoints that you hit, the parameters you passed along to that endpoint, and finally, the actual generated full URL that was hit to get the response back. And that's going to wrap up our video on getting users media with the Instagram Graph API PHP SDK. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and let me know what you want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.